as I sat down to record this, and actually while I was getting ready, I suddenly got very aggravated. And if you do this kind of work, you know the difference between your moods, all right, and some energy shift that just occurred. Now, if you guys don't know, and you can't tell by the way I speak, I am in the United States, and we have the Super Bowl, I think. So I've heard, I'm not really into that. Um, <laughs> but I understand it's supposed to be happening uh, here pretty soon. I don't know if I will have this edited and loaded by then, but there has been some talk that something, people are wondering if something's going to happen with the Super Bowl or if there's going to be controversy around it. Obviously, we have the UFOs to talk about, train derailments, um, you know, the earthquakes, the flooding. I'm going to tell you right now, I am going to be speaking very vaguely because I'm not going to get myself harmed. You can say I'm paranoid. I, I don't, I, I think it's a special kind of person who sits there and says, oh, that's paranoia. I mean, how much less could you care for fellow human beings? But um, we're going to talk about a few things. I already pulled the cards because I know this, this potentially could be a long video. I'm going to try to be very concise. So the aggravated feeling. Um, I don't love it. I don't, I don't know that anything will happen, but we'll see. Uh, when I tuned in about everything that's going on, there was hesitation on their part, the angels and archangels, to bring that information forward. And I felt in my heart, why? It's too complicated for humans to really piece together. And any person who's out there, whether it's a scientist or a spiritual practitioner or whatever, if they're out there trying to tell you that they've got this all down and they know exactly what's going on, we can convince ourselves of a lot of things, right? They're lying to themselves and they're lying to you. What I experienced was disheartening, sad, necessary. This is the splitting that we've been talking about for a very long time. And I don't know. I, I don't even know where to begin because I got some very troubling messages too, not about upcoming events necessarily, but about the regions that are experiencing um, certain certain events, okay? Um, if you are taking the live class tonight, I'm recording this on February 12th, 2023. Um, it's the advanced angel or card reading class. I will touch on this a little bit. I don't want to go too far into it because not that it was so disturbing. It's just so complicated. And I don't think, and here's why. People's responses are going to be even more complicated. And it could start people tumbling down theory roads. It can get people um, trying to be right, uh, wanting to be the one to crack the case. You know, and it's not worth it. it. We're not going to be able to stop what's here anyway. Um but just some very interesting things came up, and I will say it's biblical, <laughs> uh, which I was a little surprised when I went on in there. Uh, and I did get the message to pass along to everybody here to watch out for people who now want to invoke more fear in you, right? Not the people who are trying to warn you, you know, where people are like, I don't like hearing it, therefore I'm going to call it fear mongering and I'm going to put you down. You better watch your karma, Watch your karma. Some people are out there really putting themselves on the line trying to make sure you're protected. So watch it. But I'm talking about dogmatic people who maybe have allowed themselves to be brainwashed, um, to be in fear themselves. And now they're using this moment to recruit. Keep in mind, any divine being that encourages people to hate one another just for not being the same as you. There's, there's, there's something lost in translation there. That's not, that's not it. That's not the gig. Love, you know. So just be mindful of that. If someone, I, I'm already getting the comments, and I have not held back. I'm already getting the comments from, you know, well, I don't want to call it any specific religion, but let's just say. People who think they're doing good and getting threatening, like threatening hell 
on me and it's all to scare me and it's all to scare you too. Why? Because you're controllable and you're programmable. And if you, you're easier to silence too. So that's the biggest thing they wanted us to know. Everything else will come to light in good time. I'm not even sure I would have, no human would have the words to explain all of it. And there would be so much backlash. People would be like, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. We have these duality consciousness egos that would just sit there and try to combat everything that comes up. <laughs> okay, so that's what we need to understand right now is that the shift is happening. Yes, darkness is becoming, and we've been seeing it, um, it's manifesting. And I, you know, I, I didn't know how I was going to record this because how, where do I, like I said, where do I even begin? And I feel like I'm all over the place, but you know, sometimes you can't be spoon fed everything. And I always say that there's like one or two people in particular that I just felt who are like, oh my God, you make no sense. You better wake up and nobody's coming to save you, honey. You, you need to stop doing that. Okay. <laughs> so there's that, not to most of you out there. But uh, yeah, so be careful about people trying to um, fool you. This is a time of being fooled. So yes, there's the layer of the biblical stuff. Um, they're saying that we, we kind of have it. Not 100%, but we kind of have it. And uh, then there is uh, the the darkness kind of coming out at the splitting, right? So the other thing that they want us to know is that anybody who has tried to escape into the light, okay? So using spiritual practice as a way to avoid uh, for escapism, for delusion, so you can hide from your problems or what have you, you're going to snap potentially. And I don't mean like, like mentally snap, but you're going to be snapped back in your energy where you are, like, let's say you're one of those people, you're like, I've had my spiritual awakening, now I'm above it all, and I don't partake in any other human stuff because it ruins my vibe. And so you run to the top of a mountain, or you run off to another country where they probably didn't want you there in the first place. Uh, and uh, now there's, there might be a warship off the coast, or... Something along those lines. Like you're not going to be able to hide. They're saying that's not how this works. We're working towards balancing the light and the dark. Each of us, we have both. We have both. And what we're doing here in part is learning how to let those two balance each other out. I have said it many times before, the light tempers the dark. And when that happens, there can be no evil. There is no pure evil because there's always that little bit of light. And the darkness sort of fortifies the light. Okay? Think of the earth holding us up kind of thing. Not everybody's going to agree with that. I'm not here for debates. I'm just presenting this. You take it or you don't. You don't have to agree with me. I do want you to have intelligent discourse in the comments. Offer your perspective, but that's... a very different thing than arguing. Men, you need to clean up your act. You do it a lot. Okay. I, I said it. You don't like it? Okay. Well, <laughs> you know, the, the condescending mansplaining or, you know, what have you. I mean, again, we could talk about all kinds of things around that. UFOs. I know you've been probably been like, come on, hurry up, get to the UFOs. Um, Do you really think that any ET species with their technology that it would be something that could be shot out of the sky by anyone's military? Now, I don't know what it is. Okay, I don't know. But <laughs> if, well, I just heard um, technology in the wrong hands. Do I think it's an illusion? Yes. Um, are there tons of distractions going on? You better believe it. Is there an energy happening where... Um, Things are happening to get our attention. Now, please understand, people tend to think like, oh, you know, is God making this stuff happen to punish people? No, we make dumb things happen. That is the biggest thing. And that was one of the bigger messages that was coming through as well. It's like humans don't understand just how powerful you are. 
you know, if you run into a wall enough times, <laughs> you're going to get hurt, okay? You either need to learn to go around it or learn to climb, okay? Like, that's kind of where we're at right now. And some of the messages that I got around Turkey, and again, I'm not, not doing that on social media, but it, it broke my heart. I mean, obviously, it's a horrible situation, but yeah. Anyway, I don't care if that's satisfying or not satisfying, um, that's the best that I can do at this time. And I have the cards here. So now you guys know, I say in every video that I, you know, I do live events. I do, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little aggravated right now and I'm getting over a cold. So maybe I'm just being a big baby. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm fine, but like, <laughs> I don't know, just something just feels really off. I'm kind of nervous when I shut the camera off, like, and look at the news and see what's going on. I think I was saying about how humans are very powerful and how we, you know, end up manifesting things without even knowing it. And as far as, like, the word poison keeps coming up quite a bit, um, and that's in a lot of different ways. It's in a lot of different ways. And they're giving me emotion like, okay, that's enough to say on that. We've hit on each of the things that have been going on. Um, if that's not enough for your curiosity, uh, you're definitely going to need to look at that because sometimes it's not going to be ego satisfying. So you guys know that I do personal readings and I do live events. So make sure you're checking the community tab on my channel for all the updates about lives. And I do update about personal readings and things like that. But now would be the, you don't have to get a reading with me. You don't have to get a reading with me, but now is the time to be working on your spiritual self. Be working on your spiritual self. Be raising your frequency and not in the fake way. Oh, I look cute in my outfit and I have a completely white room. Oh, I'm just being petty now. Um, With my millennial pink <laughs> roses around sporadically. Uh, and, and so therefore I am in my zen, you know, what, 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 no, that's not it. And you'll figure it out right quick that that's not it. Okay. Yeah, I think anyway, if you want to, if you do want to work with me, I make a personalized angelic message recording and people have been asking me what kind of readings you can get. You can get whatever you want. Um, you can ask whatever you want, except See, I do angelic messaging, right? So we do that. And I can do an Akashic Records reading, which is looking at various timelines and seeing if there's repeat lessons, energy that you have carried over into this timeline. Can you heal through that? Um, but you can ask anything except what is he thinking about me? That's low vibration. I don't do that. That is unethical. And there are plenty of readers out there who are happy to do it whatever. Okay. But if you want to get a session with me, I record it for you and send it to you. Angelsouls444.com. Get on in there. Just let me know in the submission form what kind of reading you would like. And obviously check the community tab for the lives. So you ready for these cards? We have God. We have love. We do have Valentine's Day this week. <laughs> we have serendipity. Okay. And then we have surrender. This is what's happening for us, okay? And this could be happening in your personal life as well. Lots of moving and shaking and changes. And um, this this God card definitely feels like God is in charge. Um, make sure that no human marks my name. I don't know what that means. Um, like no human uses God's name or you know, in the name of Jesus, I say that you must, you know, I'm going to quote Bible verses at you to scare you and let you know that who you are is not okay. And, you know, again, that's not, I don't care what religion you are. If you're preaching hate and disapproval, how dumb do you think we are? Okay, no. And don't come at me about Jesus. I'm, I'm good with Jesus. I'm good with God. Okay. Don't. <laughs> but, uh, I, I, and oh, I, see, I told you I was aggravated and it just came on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. 
maybe I'm hungry. I don't know what my problem is. Okay, y'all. But, <laughs> but I, I just feel, um, I hope you're okay with me being like really relaxed with you here because I just feel like we're spoiled. Um, a lot of that's going away. Um, it's going to be a lot of crumbling down of what, how we think things are. And that's so broad, I know, but, um, I don't know, like one of the more disturbing things that I saw, this one I will share. There were all these donations that were collected for people in Turkey and Syria. And there are, there's all this footage out there of people, the volunteers, holding up things that are not useful. Okay, like one of them was like a nightgown and things like that. And they're like really mocking this stuff and like tossing it aside and someone was saying, you know, this is ridiculous. How do you think this is supposed to help us? You know, da, da 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 So all I remember seeing is like four garments that were small, easy to, you know, fall into a pile of clothes. And they're spending time complaining about those few pieces instead of just going, oh, that shouldn't be in here. That's why the volunteers are there. Okay, they're there to go through this stuff. And what's more, when there are disasters and you got to act quickly, you go to any source you can. I don't know if they went to like, you know, some thrift stores or whatever, and they just gave them a bin of stuff. You just don't know. But that, you know, some people really test your thinking around this. Some people might sit there and go, okay, but what idiot put that in there just to get rid of it? We don't know that. It could have been very innocent. I was more disturbed that they had to make a social media post complaining about four articles, tiny articles of clothing that they easily could have just thrown away and got back to the stuff because there are people in need who are waiting on this stuff. And, oh, and they were like being really ridiculous about it, like really making faces, trying to get attention for themselves. It was disgusting. There's another uh, video that has come out. I don't know if you guys have seen it. The nurses in the, the baby unit, or I don't know what that's called. What is that called? <laughs> the nursery? Wow. Okay, anyway. The, the earthquake started and it looked like one, I don't know what actually happened there. You're only seen it from like the ceiling camera or whatever, but it looks like allegedly one nurse runs out. And I don't know if she came back in. I have no idea. But the other nurse is standing there holding on to one of the cribs and looking around. So it looks like she's kind of communicating with the other nurse. So maybe the other nurse ran off to grab more help or something. And people are going, oh my God, isn't this a miracle? This, this nurse stayed and protected the babies. Um, that's just what you do as a decent human, okay? You, you don't run out of the room with a bunch of babies in an earthquake, okay? You stay there and you protect them. And if you're watching this and you don't get that, fix your human, too much of the dark has gotten in there. Too much of the non-organic has gotten into you. Fix it. Fix it. We ain't messing around no more. So that's what I mean. Like, we're going to start changing our perception. We're going to realize how much we've been lulled into a way of thinking. Uh, and then the love. Oh, and I, I want to show this, too, because this is the extra card. So this is Morganite Relationship Healing. Now, some people who are just thinking about themselves... You know who you are. Um, does this mean my relation? Yeah, this means that some hottie's going to come out of nowhere and surprise you on Valentine's Day. I'm just trying to manifest this for myself. That's all. Um, <laughs> going to come out of nowhere <laughs> and take you out on a really beautiful day, and it's going to be amazing. Um, or this could be for some of you who are already in relationships, or you're yeah, all kidding aside, and you're working on, um, you know, pairing, finding a partner. Because a lot of people, with all this stuff going on, Maybe people are kind of breaking open and going, you know what? I'm not going to be so afraid to connect my heart to someone. You know what I mean? We're prioritizing human connection. Hopefully some, not everybody, not everybody. And that's going to be the thing where it feels whenever you see something going on in the world and it just feels like a movie and you just feel so far removed from it. It's that kind of feeling. You know what I mean? It's like, does that really exist? Does that really happen? And it's going to be tough. We're going to, it's like us trying to like process it or something. But anyway, this could be also bringing love into the world and hopefully us not judging 
others, okay? And uh, getting our priorities straight. I have another example where there was um, a woman who made a post on TikTok talking about how the world is not helping in her region. And she's really, I mean, going on and on and on in this post about how there, there's just no help coming to them whatsoever. And I said, you know, the people stand with you. You know, we're here with you and, you know, we'll help in any way we can. And the response, I didn't like it. If someone had read that response to me, they would have seen nothing wrong with it. But I didn't have a good feeling about it. And the response was, that's nice. That's a nice response. However, this, this, and this person was more committed to being angry than accepting support. Or opening their eyes and seeing that there is quite a bit that the world is doing to help. Express your needs, sure. But again, this person seemed more committed to their anger and resentment than to actually finding some sort of solution. So that is, there was love being offered. Hey, we stand with you. A little offering, the little bit that you can to offer some healing. And it was rejected. So, and you can say whatever you want about that. This is that, oh, I don't want your thoughts and prayers. Do people use that flippantly so they can just forget about it and get on with their lives? Yes. And yet there are others who on a soul level are built for this work. When we say we love you, it means something. And it is doing something. For you if you accept it I don't I can't control what other people are here doing okay but it's something that needs to be looked at do you see what I mean by this is kind of all over the place but you got to roll with it so we have serendipity this is to me saying we're, we're clearing the way for something new to come on in and we know that and if you're wondering if there's like all this fake stuff going on to get us ready for the real whatever whatever um disclosure or what have you <laughs> um i'm laughing because i just heard that's not ours <laughs> just i don't know it's like a light being going that that wasn't us that's not ours that's that's not even of our dimension like a clunky bean coming out of the sky like we do better, right, kind of thing. So I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know. It feels like it goes into this darkness. It goes into this sort of weirdo power struggle. I don't know. And I don't care, okay? As long as it's not hurting anybody, I don't care. I will care when I need to care. If we find that it was filled with something, okay, you've got my attention, okay? But you know the those guys flying those planes, if you're one of those guys flying those planes, let me know how you really feel. But I just imagine y'all are like, yes, like, it's what I live for. Go after it. Like, I don't know. But <laughs> we do have surrender. So this is another thing. Surrender to the process that's going on here. This doesn't mean apathy. It doesn't mean you don't care. But it means you're you're surrendering. Like, how I'm kind of surrendering right now, I'm like, I don't even know what to tell y'all. Okay, I wish I had all the answers for you, but I don't. Check with me tomorrow. Like, come on. Like, obviously, I'm not going to have all the answers. But we need to surrender our hearts and just focus on the love. Make sure we're staying in that high vibration, not through denial. Okay? Not through denial. That's the way they're going to get us. They want us to turn away. They want us to pretend like nothing's going on. Okay? We can't be doing that. You need to be amplifying that love. Being kind to one another. And it's so weird because people don't even know how to be kind. You know what I mean? They don't know how to be kind. And I'm thinking of, um, all, again, all the funny things I've heard about <laughs> being, actually this happened to me. I was in line getting coffee. You know the whole thing of somebody paid for your coffee. Do you want to pay for the car behind you? And I said, I just wanted to pay for my coffee. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Do you want to pay for the car behind you? And I said, yeah, sure. And uh, it was one of those things where it was a car full of people. And the woman, like I didn't even notice. It was the woman who was at the window. She leaned out. She goes, there's a bunch of people in there and their bill's kind of big. Why don't you just say, you know, you give a couple of bucks towards their order. And I was like, okay, that's fine too. But, you know, people always talk about that and it's like people are going out of their way to like try to pay it forward and then it ends up working against you. I mean, it, it gets messy and we're in a very, very messy time. 
for people on a personal level, there's going to be lots of rocking and rolling. Um, and there are going to be things unearthed. And that is a very important word, unearthed. And I've heard they will take their own with them. And it don't feel great. It don't feel great. So I don't know what that looks like. It does feel like there's a little bit of a, I don't know. It feels like Noah's Ark kind of moment. Like, but, but I don't want to, I don't want to imply that like, you know, lots of innocent people are getting caught up in this, but it has that feeling of like, we're going to wipe the slate clean. But I don't know what that means. Like they will take their own with them. No, it's not the mothership coming down and they're like, get in stupid. And then they take you back up like they did with the cows. There, no, that's not that. <laughs> Something in the ground. I know, I know, I know, I know. Something in the ground that is being unearthed and they will take their own with them. And I feel like it means taking evil people with them. So weird, huh? I know. Do you need a nap? I feel like I need a nap. <laughs> so if you want a reading, like I said before, angelsouls 4com I think that's it. I don't know. Are you guys exhausted? I don't know what to do. I hope I hope we're okay with each other because like I'm just as confused as you are. Um, but take these messages in, see what happens for you. Really test your thinking and and tell yourself like, hey, should I should I look past this or do I need to look into it? You feel me? All right, we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.